Hey, you kids. So, just got divorced. And to help me cope with these difficulties, I decided to talk about Windows 3.1. This was a minor update to the already successful Windows 3.0, but also a well-needed update, and so better than its predecessor. So let's talk about Windows 3.1 and its history. The first build to talk about today is build 005. Nobody knows if it's real or not, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. This build is said to be compiled sometime in September 1990. The only evidence we have of it existing is the alleged file manager and shell DLL file of the build. The earliest confirmed build is build 014. This build is mentioned in an internal Microsoft email from January 1991, so we can assume it was compiled around that time, if not a bit earlier. The email compares its performance to GEOS, later called GeoWorks, through a series of tests. Overall, GEOS beat it in all the tests except for the system load test and the printing test. The email also suggests that the build either has broken true type font support or not at all. The earliest available build is build 026, compiled on April 5th, 1991. In this build, most references to Windows 3.0 have been replaced with 3.1, most icons have been updated to the 3.1 versions. The starter program group was introduced, the default color scheme has been changed to that in the final, new default color schemes were added along with the existing ones from 3.0, and new logos using the about dialog. This was before they made the iconic flag design. Build 034F is the official beta 1 of Windows 3.1, compiled on June 7th, 1991. Setup has a new interface, letting the user choose between a quick or custom install. Setup will now refuse to run on an 8088-8086 system and claims it needs to run on a 286 processor or higher, and now includes Dr. Watson, the debugger tool, with a unique icon found nowhere else, which is a... crack pipe. <laughs> Build 043E is the official Beta 2 of Windows 3.1, compiled on August 27, 1991. Reverse was replaced by Minesweeper, Dr. Watson was updated to version 0.79 and has a new icon. The logo in the about box was changed to be an earlier version of the final logo. Here's the color version. The Windows tutorial was added, albeit with placeholder art and only containing the mouse tutorial. The character map was added, clock got a redesign to resemble the final version, and the ability to boot Windows into real mode was removed. Build 057 is a build that was compiled on November 17, 1991. This build has a ton of new features not found in 043E, including, but not limited to, the boot screen being finalized, except for the final beta release, build 57 text at the bottom, the ta-da, and chime sound, and multimedia exceptions being added, and of course, the infamous R code, an evil tactic used by Microsoft to get people to switch away from DRDOS to MSDOS slash PCDOS. Oh, and this logo was introduced. It received some tweaks in Windows 95 before being replaced by this logo in Windows XP. Build 060 was compiled on December 4th, 1991, and the only change it has is the words incremental beta release on the boot screen. Build 061D is the official final beta release, compiled on December 17th of 1991. The boot screen has been changed back to the previous one, without the build 57 text of course. Setup has been revamped once again, and the Windows 3.1 development team easter egg has been added. Although its function never gets called, so it's dead code. A few more builds, and three and a half months later, the RTM build, build 103, was compiled on March 10th, 1992, and released on April 6th, 1992 to critical success. It was shown as an improvement and had more features than OS 2 2.0. Over 3 million copies were sold in the first 3 months. For comparison, Windows 3.0 sold 2 million in 6 months. InfoWorld Magazine said 3.1 was a good value and Microsoft was called the most innovative company operating in the US. However, Microsoft wasn't done with 3.1. Windows for Pen Computing was a version of 3.1 optimized for tablet PCs released sometime in 1992. Modular Windows was a stripped down version of 3.1 for the Tandy Video Information System, or Tandy VIS, released in 1992 and discontinued in 1994. Windows for Workers 3.1 was a version of 3.1 that included networking features such as sharing files, using print servers, and chatting online. This version was released on October 27, 1992. 
An update was pushed out called Windows for Workers 3.11 on November 8, 1993. This update included 32-bit file access, drive sharing, and group calendaring, among much more. Windows 3.11 also released that same day, which included fixes for network problems present on 3.1. Windows 3.2 was also released in November 1993. This was an update to the simplified Chinese version of Windows 3.1 that fixed issues related to the complex input system of the simplified Chinese language, as well as adding a font editor. On December 31st, 2001, Microsoft discontinued support for Windows 3.1 and its other versions, along with 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, 95, and Amazon's. However, Windows for Workers 3.11 continued support until November 1st, 2008. So now, let's take a look at the actual thing. Setup is mostly the same as 3.0, except you can now choose two setup options. Express Setup makes the setup decide things for you, but Custom Setup lets you tweak everything to your liking. The Windows Setup background here is a little different, and there are no more stupid instructions. After going through Setup and not doing the tutorial, we're booting it into Windows 3.1. First off, File Manager and Control Panel got updates. Control Panel was okay in 3.0, but File Manager was awful. Windows 3.1 saves the day by making File Manager actually usable. The multimedia features from 3.0 MME, like the built-in sounds and media player, are now in 3.1 by default. With the introduction of true type fonts, fonts like Windings and Arial make their first appearance here. Shutting down is the same as the previous versions. Just close all the windows and click OK. And that is Windows 3.1, a small but well-needed update to the already successful Windows 3.0. So what's next? Well, not Windows 95.